Hi you guys. How are you doing today? I must admit I'm not doing so great. Um, I'm actually feeling a little down, getting a little homesick. Uh, I miss my family and friends, but I also miss some of the foods from home. And one of those foods being Mexican-American food. And don't get me wrong, I love the food here in Ghana. Um, their stews and soups are so delicious. They spend hours making those dishes, and you can tell by the flavors that are in them. So I am not knocking Ghanaian food at all. Uh, I'm just missing foods that I've grown accustomed to back at home. So one of those types of food that I really enjoy is Mexican-American food. And so since I can't get uh, like the Mexican packages, you know, the taco seasoning um, from the markets, the outside or open air markets in Accra that I usually go to, I decided that maybe I should try going to a store that sells um, food from America. And that way, not only can I get the ingredients that I need to make my um, tacos, but also I can find out uh, the price differences um, from America to over here because we got to pay import costs, right? So I wanted to take you guys with me so we can compare the prices um, for the same item and look at the cost back home and compare it with the cost here. All right, so come on. This store sells about everything. Kind of reminds me of Walmart. You got your food, then you got your kitchenware. Have your fresh fruits. Mm, how much is a can of soda? Uh, it's about a dollar. But wow, look how small it is. How many ounces? 330 milliliters. Huh? Don't know how much that is in ounces. So you can definitely get everything you want from here that you could find in the western parts of the world or from places you're used to if you're from the diaspora. popcorn oh I didn't know they had this here I'm definitely getting some of this you guys this price too is pretty competitive um, with the US this is about $22.99 about three dollars I think that's pretty square with what the um, what America has we have all our seasonings here. We have Lari's seasoning, $10.99. Dollar and some change. So you can take all the prices and divide by seven and come up with the dollar figure. some McCormick's taco seasoning. I believe that's $14.99. So a little over $2. We have our nacho cheese flavored taco shells, which I absolutely love. $24.99 CD, so that's a little over $3. Uh, we got our frajitas. $24.99, that's over $3. 
in this hard and soft uh, let's see the hard and soft you get this taco shell six flour tortillas mild taco sauce seasoning you mix for 42.99 CDs so that's about not quite seven dollars but expensive if you're getting Mexican food you gotta have your refried beans right and let's see 17.99 and not quite three dollars for a can of beans which is kinda pricey this snack pack pudding isn't too badly priced 19.99 CDs so that's about $2, uh, not quite $3. That's about the price we'd get in America. About 34.99 CDs. That's about, for Fruity Pebbles, that's about $6. Yeah, about $6, a little over $6. Kind of expensive. This is similar to Magnum ice cream in America, and this is 12.99 CDs, so that's not quite $2, so I think that's a pretty good price. So we have feminine products here, always. That's $22.25, so that's about $3. And... So we have different brands, Fresh Days, uh, yeah, many, many different brands. I think this is, what is this? I have no idea what this is. Pack of toilet tissue, $31.90, and that's 10 rolls, so again, divide that by seven or eight I'm not sure what the exchange rate is today seven or eight dollars gives you the what it would be in dollar amount here we have some paper towel twelve ninety nine for a jumbo roll so I've just entered to marina fruit section here. Oh, is that romaine lettuce? I don't see too much romaine. I don't think this is romaine. I don't find too much romaine lettuce in Ghana. This bag of frozen green beans is 23.75. And I think they get these from the Middle East. I think these come from the Middle East. Now, oh look, we have beer here. Club beer is so good. You guys, you guys have got to try that beer. If, when you come to Ghana. And I say when you come to Ghana, not if. Because I know you guys are coming. Oh. Let's see. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. We have our Fanta soda. What does that say? Five fifty. So that's less than a dollar. That's very good. And then we have our larger size. What is that? Sprite. And what does that say? Uh, Thirteen seventy-five. So that's less than two dollars. Okay, so as I was saying, um, I went to the meat market and there was flies everywhere. So how do you guys keep your meat fresh without flies getting on it? How do you do that? Very neat. And you said you guys closed the door. Right, right. And that is good. And so this meat is coming from Ghana. Right, so it's not being imported from anywhere. 
it comes right here so the meat is very very fresh and how often is the meat delivered here every two days every couple of days so it is super super fresh that is good to know that is good to know because like I said I went to the meat market and one day the guy had his feet on the table and so I was like that that's not clean <laughs> so <laughs> it's really nice that you guys have it really nice and sanitized in here good to know thank you guys in Ghana they don't put on their the percentage of fat to lean but as you can see it's not making a lot of oil there's not a lot of fat cooking out of this so I'm making taco meat tacos today okay you guys this is actually funny I was looking for the taco seasoning that I got from um, the store in Ghana which is McCormick's but when I went up into the cabinet I pulled down this and as you can see it says great value and great value is from Walmart in the United States so I was like wow they're selling great value products here in Ghana <laughs> but as I said it was the wrong one this we brought over with us from um, America so this is actually what we bought from here and so they do sell you know American items in the grocery stores here and this was 24 CDs as well which is like three dollars which is really expensive um, it, and that's to be understandable or to be understood because the you have to pay for the food to be imported over here so that's the markup and that's why the food is so much more expensive getting American food or Western food is a lot more expensive so so I'm just putting the seasoning in gonna add a little water This shredded mozzarella is 45 CDs, so we divide that by eight. So that's nine dollars. This, this is pretty expensive for 400 grams. I don't know. I definitely would not pay nine dollars for this in the U.S. But again, since it's being imported, and this is. Actually, this is not even imported. This is from the Volta region in Ghana. So this is just some expensive food, period. With the tacos, I'm making pork and beans, which is in the pot over here. And that is, for one can of pork and beans, it is eight CDs. Eight, do eight CDs and ten pesos, which is like a dollar. For one can of pork and beans, that's expensive. And that is imported, but it's not imported from the U.S. or anything. It's imported from a more local area, so I, I think that's expensive. And then this peanut butter, which we're going to mix into the tacos and the pork and beans. Ugh, this is going to be so good. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to mix peanut butter. <laughs> And these tacos, you should have seen my husband in the background. He is like, what? You are not putting peanut butter in my tacos. But anyway, um, the peanut butter is 69 CDs and 99 pesos, which is basically 70 CDs. And that's a little under $10. Very expensive. This is 40 ounces of Jif peanut butter, and it is genuine Jif. It doesn't taste like it's a knockoff with just the Jif name put on it. Um, very good I've already had some and again just an example of what you're gonna pay okay so after the little shopping excursion I found that the prices were not much different
than they are in the U.S. So I was happy to find out that information because now when I have a taste for the foods I miss, I can go to the grocery store without breaking the bank. And I'm happy to say that I've quenched my uh, desire for Mexican-American food for the time being. Um, the tacos turned out delicious. Uh, the nacho cheese shells, I recommend you guys getting those um, because they are fabulous. It was easy to prepare. Um, just throwing the seasoning packet into it to the ground beef, that makes all the difference in the world. So before leaving, I'd like for you to subscribe, share, and like the video. Okay? Until next time, you guys have a great day. Alright, bye-bye.